weekend. I was mm. out in, in um, America watching it. I was with Ryan, who's a Liverpool fan. So it was interesting to see how he was reacting to how they were playing. One of the most noticeable things I saw was just how they play the ball out from the back a lot more now. I never really did that under Klopp. Uh, and also the speed in which they play it out. And they're one to... I mean, th- this is what worries me, actually, about Liverpool. They They were combining so well, not just by one or two players... But threes and fours, there was a couple of movements in that match in the second half where they were doing flick, 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 and nearly scored. That's obviously from the new manager. Mm-hmm. That's obviously his tactics. Um, I think they look really good if I was a Liverpool fan. You, you know when a new manager comes in after such a long time of success and you think, a bit like United with David Moyes and Fergie leaving, you think, Oof, I'm a little bit sceptical now. What's going to happen? I want to be confident, but I think Liverpool fans, after seeing these two matches, I think Liverpool fans would be very happy with what they've seen. Well, remember, I kept saying to you, and you kept saying, no, I think there's going to be a bit of a drop-off because of the new manager. Mate, he was walking into a dressing room with superstars still in the team, like with top quality players. Mm. When David Moyes, no disrespect, went to Manchester United, there was almost like on their last leg sort of, weren't there? A lot of, a lot of change there, and what Fergie did with that squad that last season was incredible. But Arnie Sopp was going into a team with Allison, who could be the best goalkeeper. Van Dyke, you know I mean, Trent, Salah, Sabozla, Diaz, Jota. He's going in there, Robertson, with top quality players. So that's why I just thought, even if it takes a little bit of time before him to get his ideas across, they will still pick up positive results because they've got good players, mm. really good players. Did you see that stat about Virgil Van Dyke? It was his 100th game at Anfield, yeah, lost, lost twice. Yeah. yeah, only 13 dribbles have gone past him. Yeah, so he and then he looks like, as good as ever. So and that's why I think they're going to be in the in the, the race for the title. I really do. I know a lot of people have, have said that it's a two horse race, but I just, I've never seen it that way. Even though it was a new manager, I just think that squad of players they've got, they're more than good enough to push mm. City and, and Arsenal for sure. Uh, Liverpool fans, you can phone up and talk about the game. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. Let's turn our attention to the home side, Manchester United, my side. I haven't seen any this season that's made me go. Here we go. As much as I come on national radio and go, trust me, we're going to win the. League. Which worries me a bit. No, but you think the, they are going to win the league? The, defend, the defending against Brighton was appalling. Mm. Uh, he's brought in Delict. He played in for 10 minutes last time. You can say, oh, he hasn't played, he's not fit. But uh, You know I'm not a fan of Harry Maguire. I think he just he's slow, he makes mistakes. I, I like Masrawi. I think he looks great. Over the mm. last two games, he's probably been a shining light. Not the one, but a shining light. For the life of me, I can't understand why any manager, and I like Ten Hag, and I backed him, would not start Garnacho. That's the one. He's one of Man United's... Not the, because you've got Bruno in there, but he's one of Man United's most exciting and important players. Yeah. I I mean, there's, there's a list of players. Manu has to start, we know that. Mm-hmm. Rashford, I don't think he deserves to yet. Mason Mount, it's way too early for me to make that call him. Um, Amid Diallo, I like him. I like him playing out wider. I think he's got a lot of pace, so he has to start. And Bruno as well. But there's gaps there. There's yeah. gaps, two of them, Rashford and, and Mason Mount. I know Mason Mount is sort of, you know, his work rate's high. No, but I thought, but, I thought he did well okay, first fair half. enough. But Garnaccio has to start. Yeah, Rashford doesn't. And that, that's, that's the, it's quite, I agree with it's, you. It's, it's as simple as that. I agree. I would like to see, if you're going to make changes, I want to see maybe Bruno drop into that position where Mount is, Xerxes go and play out front. Yeah, well, uh, are you buying a strike if you're not playing But he's looked good. His the, first touch was excellent, right, for his goal. But, but even the first two... Times I've seen him, the the goal against Fulham and then the performance against Great Brighton. I thought, okay, big physical presence, focal point. Him up top, Bruno where Mount is, and then Garnacho where Rashford is. So you've got Diallo, Garnacho, and uh, Bruno behind yeah. Xerxes. That would be the team. Then you've got Maynard and Casemiro. I, I think that Eric Ten Hag now, I think he's been quite loyal. I think he's given certain players the benefit of the doubt. S- sorry, hold on. And defender, Maguire and Delict, what do you do there? You've got Martinez. Who are you starting? Uh, no, I start Martinez. I like Martinez. Yeah, and? I'd probably go... I mean, I think I'd probably opt for Maguire still. Do you know why I say that? Because Maserati, no, I like I him. Don't. And Dallow, I think Dallow's brilliant, by the way. I think he's really good, right? The only thing about the lick, he came on against Brighton and there was no real impact. I mean, he was one of the defenders that was looking that way when someone was behind him. So I wouldn't say it's, it's an upgrade. I mean, he, he, listen, he's a better player. But in that scenario, nothing against Brighton showed me that, oh, wow, that's why they signed him. But, I mean... Oh, I think you've been a little bit harsh. He was on for like 11 minutes. And when did they score the winner? Yeah. While he was on the pitch? Right. I, th- I still think you're being harsh. I think he was one of the ones in the picture where he's looking at the ball and there's three Brighton players behind him. So, I I, I think it's a flip of a coin, De Ligt or Maguire. But certainly, okay. Garnacho and I watched Garnacho come in the Community Shield. Wow. He ripped Man City to pieces. He direct running. Run, run, run. If he doesn't play at the weekend, if he doesn't start, mm. what does that tell you? I... <laughs> If you're a player, fair, I mean, if you're Rashford, you're going to Ten Hag, thank you. Because he's he's continuing to be loyal to him. Yeah. Right. But at some point, Garnacho, I know he's a young kid, and I'm I'm a big fan of his. He's so exciting, right? 
But at some point, Garnacho is going to start to get fed up. You play like, he played the community show, played on the right, cut in, scored. Yeah, well, but, I'd rather but, play him. I like Ami Diallo. But oh, rather... you can't take Diallo out of the team. He looked you're like your, your biggest goal threat. But right. He gets the goal and he's involved in the second one, okay. which comes off the knee for okay. Xerxes. So I think the only one in that, that the wide pleasure I think you can change is Rashford. It can only be. If you take out Diallo, it's taking an easy option. Okay. Uh, what do you think Who the score will be? The wide players. I drop Rashford. Oh my goodness. Yeah, no, I love precious. Rashford, but it's not I happening. I that because that's his, that's his stepdad over there. Trust me. I know. <laughs> I know, but it's not happening. I'm, 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 oh, I love, I love that, actually. Yeah. Rashford? Yeah. How much? For, if, I, if, if Arsenal come now, I'm huge in Arsenal's aspect. Yeah. 40 million. No. God, no. How much are you expecting? 60 minimum. And you sell him? Don't make me say things about myself. <laughs> it's just not happening. No, Something's okay. wrong. I was having this conversation in great detail with Troy and, and Gabby yesterday. Yeah. You've played at the highest level. They've played at the highest level. So if, if a player's not performing on the pitch, you understand it more than I do. I just look at him and go, come on! Yeah. But you know there's something a little bit deep. Of course. And, and, and going on. You can't have bad... You, a great player can't continue with bad form unless there's a reason why. Yeah, but you, can't, a, you can't just lose form. It's been a while now. But something's obviously happening. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I have no idea what it is, but something's not right, yeah. is it? 60 million? Um, come, come in, we'll have a talk. No, we'll 60 million, would you sell him? 65. Like, but before the transfer window shuts right now, can go. no, 60 million. 62 and a half. Maybe halfway. It's always, it's always right. a 0.5. 62 and a half million, you, you sell Rashford. Yeah. yeah, you can have him. All right, uh, let's go to the final. United fans, I really want to hear your... Clip that up. Yeah, I, I really that. Listen, if he scores the winner, that conversation will never be over <laughs> again. Uh, United fans, I really want to hear your views on uh, all of the above, especially Marcus Rashford, 03717 what, what do you think the score will be? I got 2-2 two, two in my head. Why, okay. I don't know, but I just feel that... I'd like, I'd like... We'll win 2-1. You think so? Yeah, I do. I think we just perform better against bigger teams. We, yeah, we beat true. City in the cup final. Mm. We scrape through against Fulham. We lose to Brighton. Yeah, true. Got beat by Arsenal twice. True. How do you want your trophy? Uh, let's quickly speak to Matt. He's a Liverpool fan. Hello, Matt. All right, guys. We're good. How are you today? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Good. What would you like to say, Matt? So, um, so yeah, yeah. I, I think uh, I think let's build up guys this weekend. I don't think there's anything to worry about. And uh, you know, we, we played Luton last season, and their manager said it felt like. Anfield sucks the ball into the goal. Like, that's the atmosphere it gives. Against Brentford, Slot created a whole new atmosphere. It was almost like... It's, not, it's not at Anfield, you know that. Yeah, it, it, but it, it's the type of football that he plays, and that's what it created. Right. And I think when we go to a place like Manchester, they're expecting a similar game like we had last season. But Slot's just... He's got to... Um, he's, there's like tight little passes where there's like six Liverpool players and we're just pinging it around defenders. Brentford aren't an easy team. They're no, not, uh, you know they're not. They team. They're, well, they're not that. You know they put up and they put in an effort. Like you know Frank has a good idea. I mean, you, I mean so, to be yeah. fair, you played Brentford Ipswich, right? Yeah. So, no, let's not, let's not get carried games. away yet, shall we? We haven't played. Yeah, we haven't played the big six, but I think those two games, the confidence. Uh, that I think it's sort of installed. The players know, and more than anything, like the the clock to slot transition, it was all it was like passing the torch, which I've never really seen a club do. Like even for clock to sing slot songs. So, like you were talking about uh, when Fergie went to Moyes, it was just the, the handling of it was different. Mm. Matt, yeah. Matt, let me ask you a question, right? Because when Jurgen Klopp got to Liverpool, I almost feel like Jurgen Klopp is a, like an honorary, honorary. Is that right, honorary? He's like a scouser. Yeah. Like, he almost seems like he was ingrained into that community and they absolutely loved him from the minute he got there to the minute he left. What's Arnie Slot been like in terms of not just on the football pitch, but like in terms of the community and the way he's kind of introduced himself to the people of Liverpool? It's, it's a different vibe. Like he, he outright said, like, I'm not going to be doing fist pumps. And, you know, at the end of the match, like it's quite, uh, you know, especially at Anfield, you know, the players do come out towards the, uh, you know, different ends and slot does go straight back in. I think I think it's 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 going to be different, but Klopp didn't necessarily get that straight away. He built that up over the years, and I think that's the same thing that will happen with slot. He knows it. Mm. I think um, it's drilled in that when you come to Liverpool, like he said, people keep trying to tell me about United. You just have to watch football. You have to know Anfield. You have to know Liverpool to know how big of a game United is. So he knows the stuff. I think, uh, obviously, we had that little tantrum from Trent, which, you know, wasn't great. Matt, but... Matt, Matt let me ask you, you obviously know stuff. Just quickly, because I've got to go to an ad break. What will the score be? I know you're going to say Liverpool win by how many? I'm going to say 2-1. OK. 
Okay, 2-1. Mm. I think it's going to be a close game, right? You said 2-2, two, two, I said 2-1 United, he said 2-1 yeah. Liverpool. Yours is heart overhead, isn't it? No, it's not. It's not. If, if we were playing Brighton at home, I wouldn't say 2-1 United. I'd, I'd probably go 1-1 one, one when they can equalise on 90. But I just think United raised their game. I, I think they're the type of games that managers sort of irrelevant to gene up the players they oh, know no. you can't have you, for Eric Ten Hag you cannot have three games no, no, played no. and two defeats no what I'm saying is a game this big you sort of don't need a manager to tell you how big the game is right against Brighton no disrespect or Ipswich where you might go come on let's go out for it and they'll be sitting there going no, it always makes me laugh when people go no disrespect and then disrespect them anyway no but okay Ipswich aren't as big as Liverpool so what I'm saying is if I'm sat yeah, if I'm sat in that dressing room ahead of a, a game for Man United against Liverpool my chest will be puffed out it won't be puffed out for Ipswich. I'll be mean, whatever. All right. See, see. No, but you, see, see, surely. That's you you like, no. See, that's like you. Who are you no. playing, Ralph? What's his name, Ralph? In the US Open. Oh, well, Ralph Suitcase. Yeah, see, so you. Or Suitcase or something. You couldn't raise your game for that one, and that was a big one. I did raise my game for that. Did you? Nine zip. Of course I did, yeah. But the next one. Yeah. Who was, what was the next guy's name? Francis. See? <laughs> I can't saying. remember his name. That's my point. <laughs> yeah, that's my point. <laughs> no. no, I didn't have to get up for Ralph because it was such a massive, massive game, but the other one, I'm sitting there having a pint. <laughs> That's my point. <laughs> Sit in the dressing room against Ipswich, you have a pint, right? Against Liverpool, you're puffing your chest out. Get Huge game. Nine zip. Oh three. What tomorrow? <laughs> On me. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. Can't wait for this chat. Liverpool. They're at Old Trafford against Manchester United. What's going to happen? Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.